Also this noon time, a violent assault charge we're tracking. A story now that we first brought you on Eyewitness News last night. Police descending on a Burrillville neighborhood. New today, a man faces charges, including felony domestic assault. Eyewitness News reporter Erica Ritchie is working the latest live from Providence. And Brian, 35-year-old Stephen Morin of Burrillville set to go before a judge here in Providence District Court today. Police say the beating he's accused of giving his girlfriend so severe that his domestic assault charges could be upgraded, as you mentioned, to the felony level. Take a listen. The victim is fortunate that she survived this incident. There's no doubt about that. This was a particularly brutal assault. I heard a large thud, like it shook the whole house. And then... Uh, it was just screaming, just nonstop screaming. Uh, she sounded petrified. That alleged assault taking place on the first floor of 138 Sales Avenue in Burrillville last night. The initial calls came in around 9 p.m. from anonymous callers who said they could hear the attack. When our cameras arrived, the street was already shut down, but before police even got that far, before they arrived at the house, they spotted the battered victim outside a nearby grocery store. She was being helped by bystanders who flagged officers down. The woman was transported to the hospital. Police proceeded to the address with caution. After receiving information, Morin was barricaded inside and armed. They set up a perimeter around the house and tried to make contact, but then learned Morin was not there at all. He was spotted at George's Pizza and Pub down the street, where our cameras were the only ones rolling as he was taken into custody. I think he was trying to hide in plain sight, to be honest with you. I think he was trying to blend in. Um, and that didn't work out to his advantage. Now, as for the victim, Colonel Lynch says that she was strangled so badly that at one point she even lost consciousness. He says that she is lucky to be alive today. She is being treated at a local hospital. As for Morin, we're told that he's had several run-ins with law enforcement across Rhode Island. He's also had several domestic assault charges brought against him over the years. He's facing more today inside Providence District Court, where we have a crew inside. We'll bring you the very latest starting live at 5 on Eyewitness News. For now, now live in Providence, I'm Erica Ritchie, Eyewitness News.